welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the second episode of Chernobyl with my cat, Timon. You're so cute. I just watched the first episode and um, I'm really excited to see where it's going. So uh, I'm excited to continue watching and that's what I'm going to do right now. So let's go. Yes, this is Olana Homiok for the Institute of Nuclear Energy. There are four. That's not time. Who's the next closest? It's Chernobyl, but that's not possible. They're fun to go into his way. Well, that's too far for eight million and they'd have to be split open. No one's answering the phone. Literally one episode ago, she's like, oh, or, or the guy was like, oh, maybe it's not that bad there because they hadn't brought anyone in yet. And now, what this. Are what is that? Stop! What are you doing? These are radiation birds. The clothes are contaminated. Help me! He was a great one for the Lord. Please stop pushing, please! Oh, fuck. Oh, she got in. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, hey Mr. Scarscar. The situation in Chernobyl is stable. Uh, we can't adjourn. It's black men of graphite. There's, there's graphite on the ground. Well, there was a, a tank explosion there. inside the core. It says graphite on the ground outside. It means it wasn't a control system tank that exploded. It was the reactor core. It's open. They gave us the number they had. I think the true number is much, much higher. If I'm right, winds will carry radioactive particles across the entire continent. Rain will bring them down on us. That's three million, billion, trillion bullets in the air we breathe. The water we drink, the food we eat, most of these bullets will not stop firing for 100 years. Some of them, not for 50,000 years. Take Professor Legasso with me. Forgive me. Do you know how a nuclear reactor works? No. No. Well, then how will you know what you're looking at? Meeting each other. Tell me how a nuclear reactor works or I'll have one of these soldiers throw you out of the helicopter. Oh, okay. <laughs> In our BMK reactors, we surround the fuel rods with graphite to moderate, slow down the neutron flux. Ah. Oh, nuclear reactor works. Oh, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Oh, that's mean. Do you see how many people are in there? They're not gonna help you find your, your husband. Take away the victim, please. Get away from them. Oh my god. You want to get sick? Go. Please, 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 Tell them Major Burov allows it. Look, that's graphite on the roof. The whole building's been blown open. The core's exposed. Get us directly over the building, Boris. Don't just run it. Directly over. I have a double act for a mistake within a week dead. Get us over that building. Or I'll have you shot. He's so annoying. Fly directly over that core. I promise you by tomorrow morning you'll be begging for that bullet. I know about Chernobyl. Oh? I know that the core is either partially or completely exposed. There has been an accident at Chernobyl, but I've been assured there is no problem. I'm telling you that there is. Why is everyone so denying that there is a problem? That's so I'm annoying. Here. Like, enough smart people are telling yes. you there is a problem, and still people are like, no, it's fine. And now I'm in charge of the workers of the world. I also don't like him. Stable ID. Well, keep your cyber from absorbing radioactive ID. Spot from Minsk as you can. 
Very dangerous things. Oh, they are reactor core exploded. Well, all the See how much exploded. those two, only those two just look at, look like each I'm other. I'm not explaining at this time. This guy's... Maybe it's just because they have the same glasses, but... Like this information yeah. every time like this. Why did I see graphite on the roof? Graphite well, is only found in the core where it's used as a neutron flux moderator. Correct? I want to know men get as close to the fire as you can. Given every bit of protection you have, but understand that even with lead shielding, it may not be enough. And I'll do it myself. I have to say I'm getting more into the story and I'm liking it more already. So now I'm starting to get really excited about what are they going to do now and what's going to happen now. He's back. What does that number mean? The maze's core is open. It means the fire we're watching with our own eyes is giving off nearly twice the radiation released by the bomb in Hiroshima. And that's every single hour, hour after hour. 20 hours since the explosion, so 40 bombs worth by now. 48 more tomorrow, and it will not stop. Not in a week, not in a month. It will burn and spread its poison until the entire continent is dead. Aye. You are dealing with something. That has never occurred on this planet before. At least evacuate Pripyat is three kilometers away. Is it or is it not? You're the same, Josh. Anything we should be worried about? No. Must feel bad to lie about that, but if he tells them. They're all going to panic and it'll get worse now and there's nothing he can do anyway. <sighs> More animals are dying already. This music they constantly use, it just fits so perfectly with this show I think. It's creepy, it's mysterious and I don't know, it just fits. They're too close. We can't get over the fire or at least the wind will have to carry it. So close. They're flying directly into it. Oh. Okay, we're back in Moscow. Where you going? Chernobyl. Not if they stay here. We're staying here. Yes, we are. And we'll be dead in five years. I'm sorry, I... The Americans took satellite photos. The reactor building, the smoke, the fire. The whole world knows. Wind has been blowing toward Germany. I'm not letting children play outside. In Frankfurt. Down. I hear they're just outside. It's so messed up. There has been in the form of mild nuclear radiation had already reached beyond the Soviet borders to Scandinavia. And they are just stuck there because they're, they're not allowed to leave, right? You're just stuck in your own death trap. Or are all of these people leaving now? Are they starting to evacuate now? That was about to get time. Mr. Lewin. No! Give her the dog back! Oh, but in the, the beginning part, because he just said uh, in five years we're dead. I believe that was him in the beginning, right? And that was two years later and he killed himself and you saw on his desk there was like... Um, that he coughed blood. There was blood. So, yeah, I think that was the reason he was dying then. And that he just killed himself. I need to speak to someone urgently. 
Turn around right now or I'll arrest you. If you arrest me, you should take me to the highest possible authority. I estimate at least a month before it melts through the lower concrete pad, which gives us time. No, you don't have a month. You have approximately two days. Yes, the fuel would take a month to reach the concrete pad here. Then I'm back on the phone, apologizing to our friends, apologizing to our enemies. The uranium will melt the sand, creating a kind of lava, which will begin to melt down through the shield below. You have made lava. Causing a significant thermal explosion. Everything within a 30 kilometer radius will be completely destroyed, including the three remaining reactors at Chernobyl. The entirety of the radioactive material in all of the cores will be ejected at force and likely be fatal to the entire population of Kiev as well as a portion of Minsk. The release of radiation will be severe. Latvia, Lithuania, Belarusia, as well as Poland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Romania, and most of East Germany. Down. What do you mean, impact? For much of the area, a nearly permanent disruption of the food and water supply steep increase in the rates of cancer and birth defects. I don't know how many deaths there will be, but many. For completely uninhabitable for a minimum of 100 years. There are more than 50 million people living in Belarusia and Ukraine. 60, yes. And how long before this happens? Approximately 48 to 72 hours. This is bad. I honestly can't well, believe this actually reasons. happened. What the we fuck? We can pump the water. My permission for what? Uh, the level of radioactive contamination. And they'll likely be dead in a week. We're asking for your permission to kill three men. Whoa. I mean, if they volunteer, but you can't make them. All victories inevitably come at a cost. But yeah, it has to happen. Everything completely abandoned. It's kind of creepy. Everything just abruptly left behind. That's yeah. We don't need an exact number to know who will kill us. But you can't even tell us that. Yeah, just be honest. Why, why should we do this for what? Four hundred rubles. You'll do it, because nobody else can. But if you don't, millions will die, making my peace with it. Now you make yours. Go into that water, as it must be done. <sighs> I'm an uncle. Where's Paolo? Arama. It's messed up doing that, knowing that you're going to die, but it is really heroic though, because you could save millions of people. I just don't think I would do- I'm just not so heroic and I don't know if that's something to be ashamed of, but um, I think most people would. down there and i gotta say i think this episode was way more exciting than the first one but like i said first one is always more build up and stuff and what i think is really interesting is is to see what's happening to the the people who live there and um what it's doing to them and 
yeah if they're going to evacuate or not and now they they did first they didn't want anyone to leave but now they did and um yeah i mean it's honestly just what's happening there is such a disaster and I mean, like I said, I, I heard about what happened there and mostly everyone knows the story. But to like see it in a TV show now and just kind of experience it. And when they were all sitting around that table talking about it and, and actually just talking about how bad it was. It really kind of shocked me because I was like, imagine being in this situation. It's so messed up. And, and now I'm just like... Damn, how, how are they going to solve this? And this is a feeling I normally have with, with other TV shows as well. That I'm like, this is just impossible to solve. What are they going to do? And now just to realize that, that people have actually been in this situation. That's so weird. Yeah. But I'm, I'm already enjoying the show so much more than, than in the previous episode. Because also, like I said, I was, I was still getting into the story and... Uh, getting to know the characters and, and everything and in the first episode I had no idea who was who and, and who were the, the important characters and who did what uh, but now I'm really getting to know the characters a bit so that's also nice and I think there, there, are, also, there are some really good actors in this show that's also really nice and yeah I'm actually just excited to see where it's going from here three episodes left and I think this, this show it's I mean it's a mini series, but I think they made a really good choice to make it a mini series because I mean you, it's it's a real life event that really happens, so you can't make up more than actually happened. I mean of course when something is is based on something that really happened, mostly ninety percent of it is still made up, but. Um, yeah, you can't just go make second and third and fourth seasons um, and then just make more stuff up. I think it's really interesting that, that they made this. Um, I'm only at the second episode, but like I've said, I'm so excited to see where it's going and what's going to happen to the characters and, and yeah, what they're going to do next. So um, I hope you like my reaction. Do you already want to see more? Then you can check on my Patreon. The link is in the description. And um, yeah, let me know what you thought about it. And if you like it, please leave a like. Subscribe and then uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye!